righteous before the Father? I believe, they, yes, they, they are. Believe. They are also mistaken. They are confused. And they are living. Are they still your brothers? And they are still sinning. And yes, they are my brothers. They're, they're your brothers while they worship? The statues while they pray for the dead. Yes, and so are and so are people who commit they, adultery after they get saved. Because the fact is that saved people are not suddenly made sinless or infallible. Many of them make all kinds of mistakes, they, and they also make all kinds of. See, I'm, not saved, always saved. I'm not in the category of a Roman Catholic. The, cat, the it's no cop out. I'm not in the category of a Roman Catholic. I am a Christian who gave you a specific outline of biblical doctrine and gave you my testimony and said, am I your brother in Christ? <coughs> if I gave that testimony, the entire Christian church throughout the world, they would say, Brother Martin, you're saying you go get yourself baptized in the name of Jesus only or you are not our brother. If that's the case, now follow it logically, if that's the case, Neither am I saved, nor is anybody else in the entire Christian world. You guys are it. Brother Martin, <laughs> let me ask you something. <laughs> I believe Thank on you. the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> yes. I believe in his deity with all my heart. Right. I have <clears throat> repented of my sin. I live a godly life as Christ lives in me. I believe the Bible to be the word of God inspired word of God. I believe in the inspiration of the scriptures. I believe in loving lost mankind, giving my life for them. I deny the doctrine of the Trinity. I do not believe it is taught in God's word, expressed in God's word, implied, inferred, or any other way. Am I your brother in Christ? If you deny the Trinity, knowing full well what it says. I do. If you turn away from the grammar of the text and you repudiate 1 John 2 says you're teaching the doctrine of the Antichrist. I don't Walter turn away is, from Walter the grammar is, of the text. Sure I you turn do. away from your you're, interpretation you're on tape of the away, grammar. You're on tape denying A.T. Robertson, denying Granville Sharp, denying every grammatical scho scholar there is, and you can't read the language. If that be so, I don't deny the Lord Jesus Christ. I don't deny Paul. I don't deny John. Right. I don't deny Isaiah. I don't deny Moses in 6.4 of Deuteronomy. But Walter has referred a couple of times to 1 John 2, but he hasn't gone into it in any depth. In 1 John 2.22, we have another instance of the construction that I talked about on Matthew 28.19, where Granville Sharp points out that a particular construction where two personal, pronoun, personal nouns are both preceded by the article and they are connected by chi, they must be referring to distinct persons. Here's what it says. Who is a liar but the one who denies that, Je that Jesus has come, th that Jesus is the Christ? This is the Antichrist that denies, and here's the construction that fits Granville Sharp's rule, the Father and the Son. Now, if, if Granville Sharp's rule is true. What about the Spirit? If, just a minute. If Granville Sharp's rule is true, then this phrase clearly proves that the Father and the Son are distinct persons, and anyone who denies that they are distinct persons contradicts this very phrase in Scripture and defines himself as Antichrist. No, That's sir. John's passage. We believe both in the Father and in the Son. But, but you we, don't believe uh, in them as distinct persons, that's and that's right. what the grammar requires. What about the spirit? Uh, we haven't even gotten to the track that you passed out. Uh, you said in the track that Wait, there's a subject-object you, subject -object relationship between the persons of the Godhead. Where in the Bible does it say the Father loves the Holy Ghost? Where in the Bible does it say the Holy Ghost loves the Father? Very good question. Well, uh, Why is it when Stephen looks into heaven, he yeah, sees the glory of God, Jesus now. on the right hand of God, where's the Holy Ghost standing? Why is the Holy Ghost missing in all the salutations Four. to the epistles? Mm -hmm. well, why is the Holy Ghost so truant in all of the uh, places where uh, Jesus says, I'm in the Father and the Father's in me? Where's okay. the Holy Ghost? When Jesus says, the Father that dwelleth in me, where's the Holy Ghost dwell? Why isn't okay. he oh, mentioned fine. in all those we'll places? Answer it. We'll answer all right. it for you. Let me first answer it in principle. The Holy Spirit was sent to testify of Jesus. The Holy Spirit inspired scripture. 
That being the case, I don't find it any surprise that there's a great deal more in Scripture about the Father and Jesus than there is about the Holy Spirit. That was his job to testify of Jesus, and it was Jesus' job to testify of the Father and reveal him to us. Second, the son of Aaron could bring 50 witnesses who didn't see him do it. You say, where is it? All right, I'll tell you. All we need to do is to show you one spot where there is a distinction between the Father and the Holy Spirit, and that overrules 150 that are irrelevant to the, to the topic. Jesus says, I will pray to the Father, and he will send you another comforter, who is the Holy Spirit, another alas, another of the same kind, like me. All right? The Father will send. You can't send another of the same kind if that other of the same kind is the same person, Jesus. All right, but you spoke. say that Jesus and the Holy Spirit are the same. Let me answer it. John 14, 16. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, for it seeth him not, neither knoweth him. But ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. Verse 18, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come unto you. Who is the Spirit? You're trying to say from that passage that the I will come to you is Jesus, and the Spirit is Jesus. They're both Jesus. Does grammar mean anything? It sure does, and you've ignored the prepositions again. With, with, two people. Listen, you never once, Bob, ever answered John chapter 10. I and the Father, we are one. Certainly. We sure. are one. Not one person. You Doesn't have say God one person. and man. Oh. No, sure. no. Because, <laughs> because what he expressly then points out is that, that, that he, the, the, the Jews responded by saying that they were going to stone him because he being a man made himself out to be God. How many spirits are there? One. God, God is a spirit, John 4, 24. God is a spirit, yep. not the second person or the third person in the Trinity is a spirit. God is a spirit. No, you see, that's where your grammar fails you. Uh, my you grammar more. fails me. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, can I ask well, you a question, reason. Bob? Let's ask you a question. Do you know what John 4, 24 actually reads in a modern translation, not the King James? Have you looked it up? Well, you, you tell me. Obviously, well, have you, have you if, looked if it I up? had it, it wouldn't make any difference no, unless I had it makes it with Dr. It, Walter Martin. Go ahead, tell me what, it's, what it says. Now, is God a spirit or isn't now, it? Is, is, is that false doctrine? Let's not get personal because no. I don't ask you to clear anything with me. I've done nothing but quote authorities tonight. I never attacked you. I said you were sincere and honest. I said you were sincere and honest. Yeah, and that, 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 that I want me to check everything. I don't want you to check everything. John 4, 24, in a modern translation, what does it say? It doesn't say God is a spirit. It says God is spirit. That's right. His basic nature is spirit. Spirit is incorporeal intangible. God, who is spirit, is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit from our perspective. You may not accept it, but that is the classic position of the Christian church. You guys can talk about loving people all you want. You can talk about preaching the gospel. You can talk about wanting to get people saved, but you have no fellowship with the Christian church because you cut yourself off from the church by saying just what he said before. I, not I don't know, or not I'm looking, or not that I'm going to test, or not I'm going to investigate, or I'm going to keep searching. Oh, no. I know the Trinity is pagan mythology, and you people are lost because you believe it. I never said it. We never that. said about You said lost. it. No, I didn't you say said I was lost, brother. I never said that. Sure no, you did. You said no. I had to go get baptized Acts 2.38, or I wasn't a Christian. No, I never said that. 